Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. American hero local plumber revealed his man who fired shot that killed Texas church gunman. Yesterday tragic church shooting could have been worse if it were not for a local plumber and avid biker turned instant American hero. According to the Daily Mail, Stephen Williford, 55, is the man that shot the cowardly atheist Texas church gunman. And his story is incredible. He attends a different church in town and was at home when his daughter called him to tell him someone was shooting up a church. Without hesitation, this man who had no military training but is considered a crack shot by friends, grabbed his gun and ran towards the massacre. He engaged the murderer and calmly took aim at a spot between his body armor and fired. He landed a lethal blow that caused the killer to jump to drop his gun and jump in his vehicle, according to reports with a hostage and sped off. Williford saw Johnny Lingendorf in his car and told him what happened and Johnny said get in and they sped off in pursuit of the killer. They weaved through traffic at speeds of up to 95 miles per hour when the killer slumped in his SUV and veered off the road. Posted by Stephen Williford on Tuesday, October 13, 2015. Williford got out with gun drawn as the hostage ran away and made sure that son of a bitch was shot dead and he was. Williford ran towards the tragedy and fired the shot that took down the monster and then followed him until he was no longer a threat and for that he, and Johnny, is a true American hero. Share if you agree. Reporters flipping out about shocking thing Trump has in his hand in this pic from Japan. Trump has recently took a moment to connect with nature amidst the pain and suffering in Texas and unifying with Japan against North Korea to feed some fish in Koi Pond. He made the gesture and him and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe laughed afterward. The leaders fed the Koi in a pond at Akasaki Palace. Check out the video below and see if you can see the sick thing CNN does to him in the video. Did you see what CNN left out? The left out that Shinzo Abe actually did it first in the video. The leftists on Twitter started attacking the president based on videos like that CNN one above. This is what happens to your brain on liberalism supplied by false reporting. That's because reporters hate that it looks like Trump and Shinzo Abe have so much fun together. Share this to help in the fight against the lying media and to show the world what Trump really did in Japan today. Thanks for reading. IT's happening. Seconds after revealing his plan to gut Obamacare, Trump said something that stunned Congress. Unlike Congress, President Trump is tired of playing games with American families. He wants us safe, healthy, and fully prepared for life's many surprises. He's tired of arguing petty details with career politicians while this country could be marching forward, and he's tired of compromising with selfish men and women. The good news? Those days are done. President Trump is now fully prepared to destroy Obamacare by executive order. That means if both Dems and Republicans don't make good on their pledge to repeal the individual mandate that forces Americans to purchase health insurance, President Trump will be forced to take over completely. The White House Office of Management and Budget has readied the executive order and the action immediately caught the attention of Congress. House Speaker Paul Ryan said Sunday that GOP members have recently toyed with the idea of repealing the mandate through their tax bill, but as expected, Ryan wouldn't reveal where he stands. The mandate has remained the least popular feature of the Affordable Care Act and nearly every Republican pushed to repeal and replace Obamacare in 2017. Unfortunately for American citizens, that hasn't been enough to make it happen. But if President Trump moves forward with the executive order, his administration would stop collecting penalties from people who choose not to buy health insurance. In layman's terms, Americans would stop being penalized for making the choice to forego coverage. This is big news for struggling families, 
especially when the Congressional Budget Office reports that the average penalty is $695 per adult or 2.5% of income. Want more good news? The CBO also projects that repealing the single mandate would leave 15 million fewer Americans without health insurance. It's no wonder why President Trump has maintained his stance on Obamacare. Nothing about Obama's attempt at socialized medicine is good for this country and now's the time to let it die. If this nation wants to continue moving forward and achieving greatness, we need to follow a man who wants nothing less. Are you ready to end this ridiculous program for good? Let us know and share Trump's amazing victory with the world. Sources, DailyCaller.com Woman who felt off Trump's motorcade gets just deserts from horrified boss and she deserves it. Julie Briskman, the woman who was captured by a photographer flipping off Trump's motorcade just got her just deserts. The picture went viral and she fessed up to her boss that it was her, probably expecting to be showered with praise. Instead she got canned. She worked, out of all places, at a government contractor called Akama LLC. Which means the company basically gets all its business from winning government contracts and this nutcase thought it would be wise to flip up the President of the United States. No one said liberals were smart. And now she is breaking her silence with an interview with the Huffington Post. She said the company told her she violated social media policy but one can also say she violated the common sense policy. They said, we are separating from you, Briskman said. Basically. You cannot have lewd or obscene things on your social media. So they were calling flipping him off obscene. Then this hapless and unemployed liberal gave her reason for flipping off Trump saying. I'm thinking, DAGA recipients are getting kicked out. He pulled ads for open enrollment on Obamacare. Only one third of Puerto Rico has power. I'm thinking, he's at the damn golf course again. I flipped off the motorcade a number of times. It looks like this liberal just learned that there are consequences for actions. Share President Trump visits Japanese Emperor, Obama shamed to silence by what happens next. The world remembers Obama for many things and one of the more embarrassing memories for Americans was when Obama would bow to world leaders. It was not as bad as Kaepernick taking a knee but for a nation not used to our leaders bowing to anyone it was a shocker. And remains to this day. He was a lambasted in the press, in both the conservative and liberal press for trying to please everyone and forgetting that we stand above and don't play these games. We are a free country that values economy and innovation over the relics of the past. And for Obama to bow to this leader and that leader was not a good look for him or for America. Thankfully that is all a thing of the past. Because Trump is not taking a knee and he is certainly not bowing to some Japanese emperor. According to the Daily Wire when President Trump met with Japanese Emperor Akihito and Empress Michiko today he did not bow like Obama. Instead, Trump reached out his hand to the 5 foot 5 inch emperor, Trump is 6 feet 4 inches, and gave him a firm handshake. A Trump aide told the Daily Mail. In a well deserved jab at Obama, that bowing is not his style, never has been. Share this if you agree, we don't bow to anyone. Two dirty details just dropped on Texas church shooter one is religion he preached online. Former classmates are saying that the Texas gunman was an outcast. He apparently preached atheism online before shooting up a church. This is an attack on Christians. 26 people were killed and 24 others wounded. Here's what drove him to it. Patrick Boyce, who attended New Braunfels High School with the killer, told DailyMail.com, he had a kid or two, fairly normal, but kinda quiet and lately seemed depressed. I was just shocked, to hear the news. Still, haven't quite processed how he could have done that. He was the first atheist I met. He went Air Force after high school, got discharged but I don't know why. 1. This man was a devout atheist. 
Devin Patrick Kelly, aka Atheist Church Killer. Another classmate, Nina Rose Nava, wrote on Facebook the following about his religious choice. He was always talking about how people who believe in God wear stupid and trying to preach his atheism. Here is psychopath Devin Patrick Kelly picture in his new Braunfels High School yearbook in 2009 via Daily Mail. Michael Goff added about the shooter, he was weird but never that damn weird, always posting his atheist sh like Nina wrote, but damn he always posted pics of him and his baby, crazy. An anonymous former friend wrote online via DailyMail.com the following. It's scary to know this psychopath has been in my house. I can't believe I was friends with this guy and I literally would stay the night at his place when we were kids. I ended up distancing myself from him in high school after he got in an argument with me in school and he tried punching me several times. Dude was crazy man. 2. This man shot up a church as a hate crime, it seems. Liberals are currently attacking Christians for this attack just because it is in Texas. We need to share the truth out immediately patriots. We cannot let CNN spin this because, in fact, the shooter liked CNN on Facebook. Read more on that here.